Today's video <laughs> is about my dogs. And yes, I am laying in bed at 6 p.m. I've uh, fallen back into this little ritual that I have uh, followed for a long time. That is when I've come home from work, particularly when it's a little bit stressful. I just come into the bedroom, I get changed, comfortable clothes, and I just hang out with my dogs. I might read, text with one of my friends, but I just hang out with my dogs and I just decompress. And everybody's happy. This is what Buddy likes to do. And uh, this is what Sassy likes to do. Her willingness and wantingness <laughs> to have her belly rubbed is epic. Like, my hand will start to get sore before she's tired of this. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. I mean, really, who doesn't like to have their belly rubbed? But eventually, I realize that I must get up. And she takes care of me, too. You know, it's not just me petting her. I did stop because someone phoned me. So now she had an opportunity to, you know, help clean me up. So I think I've said before, Sassy was adopted. We got her from uh, Little Mutt's. Uh, pet Rescue, we were agency here in Calgary, and um, we had looked at, I think, a couple other dogs in their system, and we got together so we could kind of meet meet the dog and the foster family, and then bring uh, this guy along, and see what kind of things, ha like you know what happens, and then when we met her, we thought, oh, that it was. She was really, really good, and Buddy didn't mind her at all. And then we set up a little second little play date where she came over to our home and um, interacted with Buddy on his turf. And that went well, too. Now, it's not to say that this guy can't be a jerk sometimes. He absolutely can. In fact, he growled and snapped at her when she wanted to just jump up here now because he wants me all to himself. But that's just not how it goes. So the other thing is Sassy only has one eye. She had already lost her eye when we first met her, but I think she was still sort of healing because it was still shaved. So one of the notes on her file was that she does not do well with cats. So I almost wonder if she wasn't attacked by a cat, that maybe that's what happened to her eye. Don't really know. Yeah, she's a good girl. So we think she probably was uh, used in a backyard breeding operation. She understands, um, you know, certain things. She doesn't really know sit or those kind of things, but she knows that she needs to go outside to, um, like, so she was house trained for sure. But beyond that, I don't know, like, she doesn't play with toys, so I don't know if she ever had any. I think she was just busy having puppies for a long time. Buddy. Buddy. And what about you? You came from a pet store. I met you when you are still a little puppy, and I took you home because, um, uh, well, we fell in love, didn't we? For four and a half years, you were the only child until Sassy came along. You itchy kind of person would I be to let my dog scratch their own itch? That's my job. You good girl. Yeah, you good girl. Yep, I love her to death. And this guy too. But you can be a bit of a jerk from time to time. You got a lot of attitude in that little furry body. Okay, enough lounging. Time to make supper. We got little slider burgers and zucchini fries for dinner tonight. And I didn't have to cook. So I've made cheeseburger burritos. Because <laughs> we have these 
low carb tortillas. And that's what I'm eating. Well, this is a little, have a bit of an upgrade. I got a couple of new monitors and a new laptop from my company. This is my work from home layout. And look at, I have a couple of helpers with me. Hi. Hey buddy, how's it going? Thanks for helping. Now I don't know if you've ever had, um, and I'm gonna probably say this wrong, konjac noodles. Um, we've had them many times. This is the rice version. So it's a root vegetable that is 100% fiber. So it has no carbohydrates. But it has a really weird smell that you need to rinse away. It actually kind of smells fishy. With the noodles and this stuff, there's a package within a package. And then this is what I'm going to open and rinse. But Michelle is up in her room building in a, some Ikea furniture. I haven't even seen it. But she is building it herself. But, uh, I guess we'll might be able to see it later. I like Brussels sprouts so much that I have my own special knife. So if you've never heard of Cutco, they are an American knife company. And they make awesome products. And they guarantee them for life. So once you buy a knife from Cutco, unless you lose it, you don't have to worry about it buying another one for the rest of your life. Costs a bit, but I think it's worth it. And I should clarify, if you do go looking for it, don't don't just go looking for Brussels sprout knife. That's not what it is. I think they call it a bird beak knife. Basically, it's designed to cut things like on a cutting board. And it's just perfect for cutting off the stems on Brussels sprouts and just just makes quick work of it can be used for anything you want, but that's primarily what I use it for. It's funny, after all of that, it doesn't seem like there's that many Brussels sprouts. Almost as much of this stuff as there was the good stuff. In fact, I'm such a nerd when it comes to knives that I have traveled with them. I've literally packed them in my suitcase, so when we're staying at a DVC with a kitchen, or when we've traded into RCI and stayed at a like a big place with a with a get, kitchen again where I'm cooking, I bring my knife. I'm a pretty easygoing guy, but I cannot stand terrible dull knives. I'm just mixing some red onions in with these Brussels sprouts, and I think I'm gonna add some red pepper as well. One thing with sharp knives. You better make sure you know where your fingers are in relationship to that blade at all times. You gotta do the, call it like the bear claw, where you never have your hand like that. Always have your fingers curled under, holding things in place. I will be cooking the Brussels sprouts in this wok, and right now I'm melting some bacon fat. Oh, I wish you could smell how good that smells. I did not cook bacon, but it still smells like it. Salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. Sprinkled it with a little bit of this blend from Silk Road. I'm going to give that about 30 minutes on convection in the breville. Brussels sprouts and onions and peppers are coming along very nicely. I just keep stirring them up. So they're evenly cooked. This is not a recipe, what I'm doing with the Brussels sprouts. It's not a recipe at all. I'm just cooking them in a wok with stuff that I like. Got some of this chicken broth that I'd used the other night when I made the ribs. And um, I want to use it up. So I'm just going to pour some of it in with the Brussels sprouts. 
to help them steam. And I'm just going to kind of let this all evaporate out. But the steaming will help them cook. And it will add more flavor. And then to take it up another little notch, let's add some rich salty flavor. A little bit of uh, soy sauce. This says it's low sodium, but it's not. It's, I just used the bottle. What do you think, Sassy? I wouldn't really drop anything. I'm sorry. You too. You're just standing by in case you're needed. Thank you. So I have this huge, like, bar-style popcorn popper, and I love using it, but it makes so much popcorn. Most of the time, we go back to this old stir-crazy popcorn popper, and if you can ever get one of these, they're such a great popcorn popper. It has a stir in the bottom, the lid is a bowl. Theoretically, you're supposed to be able to put butter up here and then it steams and drips in, but I never use that. It kind of just makes a mess. Popcorn is not keto, but there are worse things. And I wanted popcorn tonight. I had a crazy week starting a new job, and I'm going to watch The Mandalorian and stuff popcorn in my face. I think I put too much popcorn in. Good work, Chris. Would you stop? I've unplugged you. You know there's going to be one. There it goes. Knew it. Hi. Got my popcorn. Got the Xbox with Disney. We're ready to go. I gotta rewatch that episode. Holy moly. I'm literally re-watching re it right now. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.